2018 may not have had any major new hardware launches, but that puts the spotlight squarely on games. Whether it's grouping up with friends in Monster Hunter and Fortnite, or immersing ourselves in the worlds of Red Dead and Spider-Man, this year has brought an incredible number of fantastic moments. Some titles have been great to take our mind off things, while others make us think more deeply about life and relationships. But each one of the following games has proven to be exceptional in one way or another. We recently sat down for more than seven hours to discuss the games we've played in 2018, and if you're interested, you can tune in for the full deliberations right here on this channel. For those with a little less time on your hands, keep watching for a simple list of winners across 16 categories, followed by our 10 nominees for Game of the Year. Best Multiplayer, and the nominees are Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Fortnite, Monster Hunter World, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Warhammer Vermintide 2. And the winner is Fortnite. Best Crossover, and the nominees are Belmonts in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Geralt in Soul Calibur VI, Monster Hunter World Cross Final Fantasy XIV, Star Fox in Starlink, Thanos in Fortnite. And the winner is Monster Hunter World Cross Final Fantasy XIV. Best Game to Play in One Night. And the nominees are The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, Deltarune, Greece, Minute. Winner is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Best Remaster Remake, and the nominees are Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Shadow of the Colossus, Shenmue 1 and 2 HD, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Yakuza Kiwami 2. And the winner is Yakuza Kiwami 2. Best Fighting Game. And the nominees are Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Dragon Ball Fighters, Fighting EX Layer, Soul Calibur 6. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And the winner is... Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Best in-game theater. And the nominees are... Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Battlefield 5. Fortnite. Red Dead Redemption 2, Vampire, and the winner is Red Dead Redemption 2. Best Strategy Game, and the nominees are Banner Saga 3, Into the Breach, Magic the Gathering Arena, Two Point Hospital, Valkyria Chronicles 4,
And the winner is Into the Breach. Best VR Game. And the nominees are Astrobot Rescue Mission, Beat Saber, Moss, Tetris Effect. And the winner is Astrobot Rescue Mission. Best pre-order incentive, and the nominees are Break It Early Beta, Fallout 76, Exclusive Lanyard, Dragon Quest XI, Lego Edna, Lego The Incredibles, Life Sword, Shadow of the Colossus, Ragnarok Hat, Valkyria Chronicles 4, and the winner is Ragnarok Hat, Valkyria Chronicles 4. Best Character, and the nominees are Arthur Morgan, JJ McField, Kratos, Madeline. Silvando And the winner is Arthur Morgan Best Platformer And the nominees are Astrobot Rescue Mission Celeste Dead Cells, Guacamelee 2, Yoku's Island Express, and the winner is Celeste. Best Narrative, and the nominees are Celeste, God of War, The Missing, J.J. McField and the Island of Memories, Red Dead Redemption 2, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. And the winner is The Missing, J.J. McField and the Island of Memories. Most Broken Game. And the nominees are Oz Fallout 76. And the winner is Fallout 76. Best RPG, and the nominees are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age, Monster Hunter World, Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. And the winner is Monster Hunter World. Best Trailer. And the nominees are Cyberpunk 2077 E3 Trailer. Control E3 Announce Trailer.
God of War Father and Son Trailer. Resident Evil 2 E3 2018 PlayStation Showcase Trailer. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Belmont Introduction Trailer. And the winner is Cyberpunk 2077 E3 Trailer. Best Music, and the nominees are Celeste, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Tetris Effect, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, The Golden Country. And the winner is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And now, the nominees for our 2018 Game of the Year. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Odyssey is an apt description of the latest Assassin's Creed. The series' greatest accomplishments such as smooth traversal, creative stealth, and epic ship combat blend beautifully with the new morality-testing dialogue trees and mythological mysteries. The game's colossal scale is hard to comprehend at first, but immensely satisfying to tackle over time. As the fates guide either Cassandra or Alexios to their destiny, dozens of opportunities pop up on each island or battlefield, letting you decide how you want to level up and face the greatest challenges. As your strength increases, your talents and gear can be customized to fit your style of play, or the next trial standing between your chosen mercenary and their path of revenge and glory. Astrobot Rescue Mission. When people think of VR, they generally think of the first-person perspective. Astrobot Rescue Mission instead takes on the concept of a 3D platformer in VR and delivers one of the most unique and thrilling adventures to ever grace the hardware. Each and every aspect of the game is enhanced by VR, and nothing about it feels like a cheap gimmick. Whether it be platforming sections, exploring environments, or battling enemies, every encounter feels like a larger-than-life spectacle thanks to the sense of scale and depth that VR brings. It's unlike anything we've ever played, and it proves that 3D platformers can work in virtual reality. Celeste Celeste is a lovely game in so many ways. The restlessly creative world it presents offers as many surprises as it does challenges. Its design builds upon itself, slowly teaching the player new things and then pushing that knowledge to the edge without ever quite going too far. While such deliberately tuned obstacles are fulfilling to accomplish on their own, they pair so perfectly with the vulnerable story that Celeste presents. It's a game about learning to live with the parts of yourself you're most afraid of, no matter how difficult that might be. The game handles its themes in a straightforward and honest way, making them relatable and imbuing triumphs with that much more meaning. Everyone can take something away from Celeste, and that, perhaps, is its greatest accomplishment. Dragon Quest XI – Echoes of an Elusive Age in a lot of ways, Dragon Quest XI carries so much of what makes Dragon Quest classically great. It's a grand adventure that takes place in a welcoming world that's so easy to sink into. The characters are immensely endearing, and the monsters are often ridiculous and adorable. Yet what makes this entry so noteworthy is how it takes hallmarks of the series and finds so many ways to enhance them. Visually, Dragon Quest looks better than ever, taking the iconic Toriyama style and representing it so faithfully on modern technology. There are plenty of smaller things as well, such as how easy it is to get around the massive world, making it a joy jumping from place to place. 
Every party member feels useful and distinct, rewarding those who are willing to play around without being so stringent that you feel forced to build the party in a certain way. For every convenience or new idea that Dragon Quest XI has, though, it never forgets how satisfying saving the world can be if you can properly invest the player enough to make them care about the struggle. It's not just a great Dragon Quest game, but in many ways, a definitive JRPG experience. Say hello to my enormous friend! Fortnite Fortnite Battle Royale debuted in 2017, but 2018 will always be the year to remember. Reaching unprecedented popularity on Twitch and social media, Fortnite mania was everywhere and became a cultural phenomenon. For nearly 12 months, Epic Games had us enthralled with an unexpected meta-narrative, shocked by constant gameplay additions like vehicles, and addicted to chasing the never-ending supply of collectibles. Players of every skill level can enjoy the game for a variety of reasons, from jolly cooperative squads to victory royale-seeking killing machines. Things are only getting started, and however big Fortnite becomes in the future, we'll remember when it all began. Aside from the part where we almost died, that was amazing. Hey, don't mention it. It's all in a night's work. God of War. After a bloody campaign of relentless vengeance, Kratos seeks redemption from his tortured past in one of the most epic games of the generation. Joined by his son Atreus, the familial bond takes center stage as their journey through Midgard and beyond features brutally stunning combat, captivating locations rich with lore, and an emotional story about becoming a better version of yourself. It's easy to get absorbed thanks to an awe-inspiring single camera take from beginning to end, and the Leviathan Axe is an instant classic, not just because using it against mythological beasts is so satisfying, but because of the history and presentation surrounding it. Playing God of War feels like it's ahead of its time, and being able to experience it is an honor and privilege. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. Marvel's Spider-Man. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. Marvel's Spider-Man is the kind of game we've only dreamt of. Sure, it's not the first or second or third or fourth time we've swung around New York City as Spidey, but this is indisputably the truest interactive expression of Spider-Manity ever seen. We don't just thwip and punch and crawl, but joke and cry and do science and have regrets and take photos of ourselves. And all of this happens in gaming's greatest representation of the world's greatest city. While it's an adaptation of decades of material, Insomniac Spider-Man radiates creativity. It is sincere, brave, and spectacular. Just like, you know, Spider-Man. See you later? Yeah. Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World is such a success because it's an ambitious reworking of the series. Instead of being just another iteration, World takes a careful look at what Monster Hunter is and tweaks it in ways that make it more accessible and exciting. While that is certainly an achievement, it's not what makes Monster Hunter World unquestionably one of the best games of the year. It's quite simply the thrill of the hunt. World makes its environments feel alive, turning them into dangerous playgrounds that players may smartly use to their advantage. Even more importantly, the beasts themselves are unpredictable and increasingly menacing, making them exhilarating to face off against time and again. Capcom's consistent support has kept the drive to hunt alive, with them adding some of the best fights in the game for free after release. Red Dead Redemption 2 The story in Red Dead Redemption 2 is about causing a great heap of trouble across a great big map, but it's the little moments that stand out the most when we look back on these happy trails. Rarely has a character's life been so carefully considered as Arthur Morgan's, let alone the daily challenges facing his family of outlaws. You can join in the gang's struggle for survival or spend his days hunting wild game and robbing trains. Citizens in need constantly cross your path, and quick decisions can backfire or pay off in unexpected ways. 
All these elements bring the Wild West to life like no game has before, letting us travel back a century and conquer the open frontier. A new bar has been set for open world storytelling. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate lives up to its name in almost every respect. It's a fantastic game that celebrates the rich history of Nintendo, along with several of the biggest third-party franchises. World of Light stands as the most impressive single-player content in the series to date, and the sheer amount of additional modes and content available is staggering, with a roster of over 70 fighters and a score that contains a whopping 900-plus tracks. Though its online component has room to improve, Ultimate delivers one of the best local multiplayer experiences in the business, and is one of the best games of 2018. And the Easy Allies 2018 Game of the Year is... of War. More and more classic franchises are seeking a second life, and this year, the God of War showed everyone how it's done. Part sequel, part reboot, this new journey honors the past while paving a path toward a glorious future. Reflecting on a history of blind revenge and bloodlust, Kratos takes bigger leaps as a character than we ever thought possible, and along with his son, Atreus, we learn the true depth of his soul. Changing the world, the camera, and even the weapons we associated with the series for so long, risks were taken, but the rewards are evident. One minute we're feeling the skull-crushing might of the Leviathan Axe, and the next we're tearing up as this heroic duo discovers what they're made of. Action and adventure climbed to incredible heights in 2018, but the loudest gasps and biggest jaw-dropping surprises came from this epic emotional tale about a grieving father and his growing son. He went to the old temple. But mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. 